Hey everyone, this is DCSG81 again and uh, today I will make a simple comparison video between these two figures. Okay, so uh, as per my previous review video for this new uh, Black Widow figures, from SHP Guard's uh, Avenger Endgame, you can see the link right now. I actually mentioned that I will do another video for comparison between uh, both of them. This Black Widow is also from SHP Guard's, but it's from the Infinity War. Okay, so let's begin. So from this uh, picture itself, you can see both of them are actually pretty much the same scale. The only difference is, I think, this Black Widow head is slightly bigger <laughs> because of the hair, I think. And this one is slightly smaller because she actually uh, tied her hair up. So you can see they are actually pretty much the same height. There's no difference here. And um, if you remember uh, what I mentioned in my review video for her, she actually, I actually mentioned that she uh, her costume actually feel uh, a lot better because she is actually have a uh, sculptured sculpture uh, all over the suit whereby you can see this one is just a plain you know very um how do you say a very smooth um material as compared to this so you can actually see i'm not sure whether it's showing on the camera yeah maybe like this you can see under the light you can see they have actually uh, a lot of uh, sculpted uh, patterns but this one is just pure smooth one yeah. so this actually feel a lot more premium um, as compared to this one but I believe they are both uh, uh, screen accurate uh, I don't think as if you got purposely make this uh, like that because this is also just a regular release not not uh, web exclusive or anything like that both of them are actually regular release okay so uh, okay so we can see from here that um, they are pretty much um, the same again I would say that this black widow actually have more details on her you can see she's actually painted with uh, some area is actually painted red and um, this one is uh, very plain just the green uh, vest here but other than that uh, and this has a lot more details on the suit it's actually feel more premium while this one is just uh, plain but I I believe they are actually both uh, screen accurate again so yep there's no reason for uh, Bandai to purposely make these feels better because this is not any exclusive so uh, okay so let's take a look at their accessories. Okay, so from the screen here, you can see they are pretty much having the same uh, accessories, except for a few. I'll go through each and every one to you right now. First of all, as for the hands, you can see they both have a relaxed hand on the figure, which I have uh, put on the figures. Then they both have uh, open hands, like a high five hands. Both are the same, except for the uh, um, the end game one, the latest one. He actually, she actually have the this uh, this um, what do you call the um, time travel uh, device on her hand. Hope you can see. So this is on her airy left hands that she have. Okay, and then um, so she have the relaxed hand and then the open high five hand and then the fist hands so they are all the same and then they each of them have the same hands for holding the this weapon the button and i actually feel that they are both very much similar in terms of design it's, it's the basically the same stick okay and then lastly for this uh end game Black Widow, she have additional hand because she have handgun this time. So these two hands are for holding the guns. And then, but this uh, Infinity War Black Widow actually have another longer uh, 
weapons which is similar to the button but they actually can be combined into uh, together okay so you can see she is removable and then you can combine into one longer stick okay so she the, the uh, black widow from endgame have guns she have these longer sticks okay and they are all screen accurate because she does use gun in the movie and then she does combine these two into this longer stick in the movie as well so and for this uh, endgame black widow she have another sets of uh, gun holster this is the empty holster it's actually to put it on her tight here so that when she's holding the gun you should just replace with this one so it look as if she have removed the gun and then this one is before she actually removed the gun so it's actually sculpted it's a, it's a single piece you can't remove the gun because the gun is here okay i already put it on the hands so this one is what the Black Widow from uh, Infinity War doesn't have and uh, just now I have checked she does have something like a holster but it doesn't meant for anything you can see here and they also have a hole actually so I maybe they decided to give her something but in the end it just didn't work out so I don't know why they just leave an empty holster on her back <laughs> And oh, they both have these uh, things here which is uh, removable It's actually for uh, her button when she's not holding it So it seems like she is here at the back So they both have the same one Okay, and it's uh, removable Okay So now let's go through the faces So um, this uh, Infinity War Black Widow have three interchangeable faces while this endgame black widow only have two so they both have uh faces looking to the side so the the uh, infinity one what uh black widow actually looking to her left or the end game black widow actually looking to the right okay so i'm put it closer so you can see they are both looking to the side and then we have the uh, looking straight faces sorry she, she's it's a bit hard to stand okay so for the infinity war black widow she actually have one uh normal looking face and another one is a bit angry as you can see there are some strain line between her eyes so this is the angry face and this is the normal looking straight face Okay, so the one that uh, comes with the end game is actually a normal looking face which is similar to this one. Okay, so what is missing is the uh, angry looking face for her. Maybe she doesn't get angry in the movie or what. <laughs> okay, so that's all for the uh, accessories uh, comparison. Yep, uh, we will move on to the articulation next. So for the articulations, uh, I will show you uh, some pictures later that I uh, have actually taken just now. Um, both of them, uh, I can conclude that both of them actually pretty much they can do what each other can do. So the articulation is uh, very very uh, similar. Both of them don't have any arm shiver as well as tight shiver they don't have. And uh, for this Black Widow, we actually have some... Um, Kinder, when he's trying to bend forward, you can see this part here, there's a joint but it's actually uh, a little bit of hinder because of this this piece here this piece here actually hinder her from actually turning lower or this black widow doesn't have anything to so she can actually bend much more and uh, yep, so that's the only thing that I noticed and also uh, for this black widow <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's just my figure or what. I find her is a little bit hard to stand, while this one is uh, much more easier. And as for the joint wise, uh, I think it's because of the material. Um, this one is uh, a little bit loose, uh, not to the to the extent that it will dangle or anything, but it's pretty much uh, how do I put it easier to move around. Well, this is a little bit tighter. I'm not sure whether is it because it's uh, still a new figure 
well this one has been out uh, for some time now yeah so that's the only difference otherwise in terms of articulation they can pretty much do what each other can do yeah okay i'll show you the picture now Okay, so lastly, um, the question, which one should you get uh, for Black Widow? Um, of course, SH Figures have uh, released three Black Widow. There's another one from, if I'm not mistaken, it's from The Avengers. Yeah, you can check out the link here, which I have made a video about everything about MCU Black Widow that has ever been released for 112 scale. So there's another one um, which I find the likeness is not really there. <laughs> That's why I didn't get that. So, but for these two, the likeness is pretty much, I would say that uh, there. I mean, it's, it's almost perfect that you can really see Scarlett Johansson's faces over here. I believe she will have think the same too. Yeah, so if you have the question like, which one should you get? I think that, uh, okay, in terms of price point, they are pretty much the same because I don't remember how much this costs, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, the price can't go pretty much far because they are both regular release. Unless this one is exclusive, then I can uh, safely say that this is cheaper or something, but they are both regular release. If I'm not wrong, this is a little bit more expensive. Maybe it's because it's the final, you know, Avenger Endgame movies. Yeah, so, um, so in terms of price, I think they are roughly there. But for the overall look, uh, for me, I would prefer the uh, end game version because, um, okay, first of all, it's not because this is a new figure, so I like the new figure more. It's because you can see the overall, I keep stressing on the material on the costume. It's really very nice, okay? This one, um, of course, they are both uh, screen accurate, I believe, because SH figures have the ability to capture the attention to details so i don't think they purposely make this one like that and this one with the details yeah so um but for this one i just feel that okay first of all i think the hair is slightly off <laughs> because it's uh, instead of uh brown it's a little bit too gold i feel that yeah so uh in the movie i don't think she's actually this gold maybe it's a slightly uh, more to the a bit of uh, white you know yeah so i need to see the movie again but i remember it's not this cool yeah so but for this it looks very nice yeah with the paint sorry it's out of frame yeah for the paint is pretty much nicer yeah but it doesn't take off the likeness you can still see the likeness there okay so yeah so if you ask me in terms of overall look i prefer this one and also as for the weapons she has the the stick or the button as you call it and she have it too so the only difference between them is she have a longer one or well, she doesn't but she have the handgun and she doesn't so <laughs> which one do you like I, of course i prefer having both yeah like mr stark say uh why choose when you can have both right so she have the handgun as well as the the button so there's more choice to to uh, display her with or well, this one is just a matter of short stick two short stick or one longer stick yeah so i believe this one is uh, the one to go for but if you are more to those that you like more face to interchange then she will be the one because she have one uh, as i mentioned earlier she have another face which looks slightly more angry and that face actually is pretty good i would say yeah so that face is good for when you're trying to pose her during action scenes like fighting or maybe uh, just posing to fight you know getting angry yeah that's the one but she doesn't have any of the, that face yeah okay so yeah so it's really up to you if you are a big fans of infinity war and i think you should get this one but if you like 
uh, end game more than you should get this one but for me i still prefer this one but if given me a choice again to get i will still get both of them <laughs> because i i just like black widow so that's all for my comparison uh, video today for black widow i hope you like this video yeah if you do uh click the like button and also leave me a comment below if you would like to find out more about them and also subscribe to my channel because i have new video up every single week and again um i hope you can actually um check out my channel because i have a lot more videos which you might find interesting and also uh, do share my channel to your friends who are also in this uh, collection hobby <laughs> yeah so i would appreciate that a lot okay so uh the next one i should probably do the uh the end man from the end game uh review for end man okay so stay tuned for that and uh, also stay tuned for the pictures that i will show you after this video and at the same time have a great holiday because um it's labor day <laughs> yeah so i hope you have a great day i'll talk to you soon bye